We got about 100 entries in the first challenge wow. and we did five of them. So that's really good, 100 entries? Yeah. And was that a lot just posting in the community that you're already a part of? Yeah, that, it, it, so uh, those 300 to 3,000, I'm not sure where, where it was at when I started Threadless on there, but um, it was invite only, that forum, and they were all really, really talented designers. Right. So it was all very high quality stuff at the time, and I guess for the audience. I mean, if you look back at the first five shirts, you might think otherwise. <laughs> but one of them, we still reprint today. Wow. And, um, it sells really well. Mm -hmm. But I guess it's just, um, I forgot where I was going with that. Oh yeah, well, we were really lucky to have that, um, those people to seed the challenge with. Yeah. And, um, as soon as it like after that first challenge, that's when it moved to Threadless, and that's where you submitted designs. It wasn't additional threads on the forum, um, so then it became not just those those 300 people. It was also just anybody could come and submit. And um, whenever an artist sub like puts together um, a design to submit to Threadless, they spend you know an average of like six hours on their design. They put it up there, and it's all based on how it scores. So they you know, they have a strong interest in telling everybody they know to go vote right. on it. Some of those people end up submitting designs too and, you know, it's been 10 years, so it's not like our growth was immediately, but there was a very strong snowballing um, that, that's happened uh, of new people getting on, like a very organic growth early on.